So welcome to this video and in this video I wanted to have a look at planetary differentiation and what that is and what it means. So if we go back to how planets form they typically form in a disk around a star that's not always the case but generally most planets are probably going to form in this sort of environment so as the star is forming in the center you then have this protoplanetary disk or circumstellar disk and you get accretion in that so basically the disk starts to clump together, those clumps grow, things hit each other. Uh, we call it accretion, but basically this causes them to heat up as well. So you've got lots of collisions there. And over time, that protoplanet will get hotter and hotter. So that's one way of heating them up. So they actually get some heat during this formation process in the, in the disk itself. They also actually have a relatively high amount of radioactive material in them when they first form, which causes radioactive heating. So as they kind of decay, internally in the planet you get an internal heating from radioactive decay basically so that can give you an additional heating from that as well and then also you get the heating from the gravitational collapse so as they get bigger and bigger the gravitational force collapse trying to, to squash the planet together actually increases the heat as well so you get heat from a variety of different sources but the main thing here that we're interested in is that the planet itself heats up internally the bigger the planet then obviously the hotter it gets and if you've got even even bigger objects like a star that's when you can get the very high temperatures to start fusion so but for planets that doesn't happen but we do get uh, a reasonable amount of internal heat to melt the material inside so planetary differentiation is when that heating has essentially melted it internally and then the heavier elements will fall to the bottom they'll sink um, to the center of that planet and then you get a layering, so you get heavy stuff in the center, lighter stuff on the outside. And that's what we have with Earth. Um, the terrestrial planets all show evidence of that as well. So it's a layering, basically, due to the fact that it's been melted and the heavier stuff falls to the center. Now, only the biggest of objects or the larger objects are going to become differentiated. So the planets, basically. Asteroids, so the very small asteroids, they won't have evidence of that or they won't. They're just not big enough, they don't have enough heat to become differentiated. So as they get bigger and bigger, they get hotter and hotter because there's more collisions, there's more gravitational force, there, there's more radioactive material. So they get hotter and they're able to then become differentiated. However, it's not just the actual um, planets that can do that. So for example, the moon is differentiated as well, and that's not a planet, although it's quite big in respect to the Earth, but it does have a crust and it does have a, a central core, a solid in the core. And Mars shows evidence as well, so it's just a comparison really to show the sort of layerings that you get. And if you were to look in more detail, you'd find they have different compositions as well. You've got an iron core, for example, then you'd have lighter material, and then you know, obviously the crust. And it's not, just it's not just planets really that show evidence of this. You get moons, so we know about the Earth's moon, but Jupiter's moons are also differentiated. And so the Saturn's moons are going to be differentiated as well. But you can also get things like dwarf planets. So Ceres and Vesta, these are dwarf planets, asteroids, minor planets. These can become differentiated as well. So Vesta is not even spherical, but it could potentially still show evidence of differentiation internally as well. So it doesn't have to be a planet, although we call it planetary differentiation it can be smaller objects as well. You just need that internal heat to actually melt it to then get your layering, basically. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoy, then check out some of the other videos.